appreciate that. Uh, awesome. Um, will you say that again? You want to clip it? What? That I will. Okay. I'm coming for you, ninja. I'm going to be better than you. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what the problem was. We're good now. We're good now. Uh, let's see. How do you like, how do you like this one? <laughs> okay, so yeah, my, uh, I don't know, something wrong with the screen deck, but I'm here now. Front row. That's not cool. All right, things are acting weird today. We're going to pretend that it didn't happen. So, hi, everybody. How are you today? Uh, thank you, Wust. I am feeling uh, much better. Everybody's feeling better. Uh, boys went to school. Uh, everything is back to normal. Um, yeah, had to take the boys to the doctor. We did not have COVID, okay? Just, you know, getting that out there. We didn't have COVID. Um, it's allergies brought on by, uh, oh. Um, so yeah, we're all kind of over it. The boys are still having, you know, their coughs here and there, but I mean, nobody was running a fever or, you know, anything weird like that. Yeah, they, um, it, it certainly didn't keep them from being on the computers. We tried to keep them in bed as much as possible, but when you're nine years old, uh, staying in bed all day is difficult at best. So here we are. Here, okay. Uh, I'm I'm here. I'm going to try my best to make up for missing those uh, those days last week. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to stream every day this week. Can't give guarantee it. In some form or fashion. Today, uh, we're going to play. You know, it's Minecraft Monday. Tomorrow, we're gonna be making some live TikTok videos. <laughs> I'm gonna record them here naturally and um yeah uh and then you know not all at one time put them on tiktok so you guys get to be here for a little you know live uh tiktok stuff i think that's pretty cool let me do that okay uh let's get some background music a little bit ah. okay that's a little loud in my head I'm gonna turn that down no I'm not there for the rest of tomorrow oh that's too bad but I'll be here uh so today before we get started into Minecraft, I'm going to go ahead and start loading it. It's going to take a few minutes. Um, I want to share something with you guys. And I think I'm going to start doing this on the regular. Um, it's gross and it's disgusting, but somehow or another, I am absolutely fascinated uh, by it. And those are toe videos and if you've never seen a toe video uh um 
it's um it's interesting echo newest release there we go all right so i'm loading that up minecraft is a load so it's people with ingrown toenails things of that nature uh getting them removed i don't know why i'm so fascinated by it but i am and it's part of my daily routine now there's a youtuber by the name of mr toenail he's over in asia somewhere um because you know they, nobody speaks english in the video or anything but it's quite entertaining and he posts daily and you know between like two and five minute videos so they're not very long but he runs a shop where he shape fixes nails so it's part of my daily routine now i have i've got to watch them so now instead of watching them by myself i'm gonna share all of that with you guys <laughs> the family are like ew gross dad's watching toe videos again but i love them i don't know why i just do there's another guy that's really good up in canada by the name of uh the toe bro and uh but he doesn't post every day he doesn't post um uh oh what happened oh never mind <laughs> minecraft was loading and the screen went black for a second i'm like oh we got the red mojang mojang however you pronounce it i call it, i pronounce it mojang how do you how do you, I, I guess it's but uh, yeah let's um Let's see which uh, just chatting is going to work. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so uh, this is today's video. Uh, kill the background music. I'm going to turn sound up a little bit. We're going to watch. We're going to watch uh, Super Sharp Nail Hidden in Toe Egg. Now, English is not this guy's first language, so his title sometimes. But here we go. And, and he's got this technique. How he does this without slicing somebody's toe open. Yeah, it's a reaction video. Oh, look at all of his move. His toenails are dirty. Yeah. <laughs> and they usually show like two or at least two. Let's see. Here we go. Here's another. We have one that starts off. And... Yes, yeah, I can't understand the thing they're trying to say. Look at, look at this. Ooh. And they pull these big, look at that, these big, chunky, meaty pieces of nail out of people's toes. And this guy, he doesn't uh, use anesthetic or anything like that. So people's feet, and then they go right. I know, right? Ooh. 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 Nuts. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. That was in his toe. I, I mean... Just can you imagine? I mean, I mean, I mean, by no means am I saying these people are dirty or anything. It's just you know people don't normally 
take care of their toes like they should. And this is the res the, the result. You know, and it, people have like chronic, chronic toe issues because of this. And, uh, you know, they go to a guy like this and he does these little procedures. This is called nail shaping, I believe. Shapes the nail to where the nail won't come back. A variety of different techniques. But they claim this is, you know, painless, no pain, you know, all that, which I have seen people come out of the chair in these videos. Oh, God. I mean, you know, just some of the pain. This is just a short one today. It's just a short one. A new hypoallergenic form. So, uh, okay, so there we go. <laughs> That's today's toe video. Um... But uh, yeah, the the toe bro, the guy up in Canada, he's actually he's like a real toe licensed specialist. You had different on your nail, yeah. I've had ingrown toenails before, and what he does, generally, you know, he, you know, it's a whole medical procedure. Let me, I know I can find it. Let me go find one of his links. Uh. Or the top bro. I subscribed. Bro. Here's his, yeah, here's his latest one. Um, that's not, I want to find a real bro. I was in a job that accidentally got pressed on your fingers. No. Yeah, exactly. Oh, here we go. Curved nail. This is a good one. No, that's not Toby. Let me go to the let me go to Toby. Oh, four fingers. Oh god. Hang on. We'll watch we'll watch too. But I want to pull up a Cobra. Here here's a Oh, here's a good, he, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is from a year ago. I got to, I rewatched this recently. This, this is gross. If you're, if you're, you got a thing against blood or whatever. I would. This is the toe bro. This is about 20 minutes long. So I'll try, I'll possibly. But I want to see it because this is one of those ones where he does like the whole procedure, deadening the toe and all that. Pretty unbelievable to see from the front of it how much tissue there was. How, how long has it been built up like that? Look at that. Oh, isn't that gross? Like you see right there, there's pus. Bleeds a lot. Lint from his sock. Isn't that gross? Oh, sorry. Meant to close that. There we go. Yeah, we see some nice, really yellow, yellow pus coming out from in the center. But again, I think it looks Ew. better than it does. Just like the dead skin. Yeah. Uh, the sock lint. Sock lint. It can look a lot worse. If I lay it then every so often, I would let, I would literally like push one of it off. Yeah. Okay, he's already deadened his toe. See right there, that little bit. Of, he's already deadened the toe. This guy's out of Canada. People travel from like other countries to go see this guy and get their toe fixed and that stuff that he's put on there that red looking stuff that's iodine to use as a disinfectant kind of fix and there's very little to no blood you get a nice little pus squeezing out oh look at that it really it doesn't bother me a bit actually i'm just doing this for y'all's benefit it I've seen so many of these. It doesn't. It doesn't phase me. This is like super satisfying. No, it's it's not. It's not dying. I, there's a couple of ones that the toes are like, oh man, how you didn't have to take this guy's toe off. It's just really infected. Anything sharp here? No. Anything sharp down here? 
It's just, it's a lot of just dry blood. Yeah, so we can kind of see what we got. Jeez. Hangs a hell of it out. Look at this. Did, did you hear the sound of it ripping? And the dead skin builds up because your body's trying to heal itself. And this, see, this is good and bloody. And we got one more after this. But. Did the prices of meat really go up a lot? Oh, yeah. A lot, huh? Yeah, I got a lot of customers that come in and they're like, man, they're like, they're on, I'm cutting and you can hear them. And then they, they read it on their store so it's like open time. So you, you only oh, I, I have. I've. Had a toenail removed like this. And the guy's talking about meat. <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> And look at that hole where the nail was in his toe. You feel this? Yeah. That is all the abnormal tissue that was just forming. Abnormal tissue. That's how rough that size is. So let me, we don't want it to bleed too much. That's why I'm using all that thumb cutting till the very end. Yeah. I'm drying the area out very nice. He, uh, he, he, um, he bleeps out swear words, so it's. Yeah, see, if he'd have left that behind, it would have caused him so much trouble later. This guy knows what he's doing. He's, he's... The needle wasn't bad. He's yeah. Now he's putting in this stuff called phenol, and it's an acid. And what that does is it kills the nail matrix, what they call the nail matrix. So, you so some of my videos that I take off a lot of meat. Yeah. yeah. We don't have to do that. I just have to pull off this hypergranulation tissue because your actual skin. He uh, he puts this in, this acid, and it kills the nail matrix, and that part. I mean, that part of the nail there won't grow back. And that's what I, they did that my toe um i didn't film it film it though but i think the next time because i have one going on in my toe i might film it and put it on put it on youtube hasn't really bubbled out it's just that bubbly tissue that we'll, we will remove and what this is just we can call it ground beef and <laughs> what's the part that ground beef now is it chemically burns the nail matrix so it won't uh and you can do this with the whole toe.
making sure that nail matrix dead, nail bed is gone. See, look how deep the hole was. Now, he doesn't feel anything. He, his toe has been deadened. He's, get, been, he's given him injections already. They did, he doesn't film the, I forgot, he doesn't film the, the deadening of the toe much. Because believe it, believe it or not, <laughs> some people, they can take this, they can take watching this, they can't take him, the people getting the needle, which is hilarious. Look at how nasty. No distancing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And then he's gonna, then he's gonna, yeah. He he puts, he treats it several, and then he puts, he'll put some alcohol, some, some rubbing alcohol in it to neutralize the acid. Otherwise, it'll keep eating his toe away. Ew. It neutralizes the acid. And then he's gonna cut that dead, all that dead tissue. Did it feel busy inside with poor tissue? Not really. Not really. I mean, well, that was really good. Employees, as you go, they're going by a snack, and you got Linus going down all the aisles and all the registers. How, how was ah, he is job? really doing a job on this. During everything, like he's making sure that bad boy's not coming back. No, I, and that's what I like about it. He's very I thorough. That a lot. We were all and uh, uh, had to keep you know, working us. Uh, yeah, no, no you know, very problem. particular about his no, process. Let's see, there's the there's the alcohol to neutralize the acid. Now he doesn't like I said, he doesn't feel a thing. That's all done. We're gonna just trim this nail a little bit shorter for you. So you don't have to worry about cutting it for a while. Are these cutters he's using, he sells those. It's his own like design and brand and everything. He sells those on his website. I'm not an affiliate of his, by the way. Can you imagine? I'm a Tobro affiliate. You want to cut it lower than that. We always want to cut the nail to a point where we can actually see the edge of the nail. And we got a lot of dead skin that was forming. So you also had an infection on this side as well. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like it started on that side and kind of went away, I guess. And it looks like you have a, even a little growth on this side coming out of the nail. Get it, man. Get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Let me trim back the nail to expose that. So the only reason I am going to cut your nail shorter is to see that corner because there is something going underneath your nail. Now this side was very painful for you as well. Yeah. I want to say that's how you were Look, 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 uh, look at all of that. And that builds up pressure and it hurt and it causes pain. Your feet are way more sensitive than you imagine. You know, than you think. Anything abnormal on this side of the toe before? No. You definitely have a little bit of a growth. Now it looks sometimes you get these little filaments or little stretches of uh, skin. You can call it a tumor. It's a tumor. Trauma, too much pressure. So I don't know if it happened because of the pressure of the ingrown. But I'm just going to pull it all out. Yeah, once your nail is damaged, it will never grow right again. No like people will drop something on their toe and then their, their toe will get all, yeah, their toenail will get all thick and you cannot, the, the, the only thing you can do is like keep keep it under control or ha or take it off entirely permanently because it'll never grow back the same. 
trauma to the toenail. It just, yeah, it won't. And I, and I have I have that on one of my toes. I uh, I don't know what I I don't even know what I did, but it's like growing up like real thick and detached. It's it's kind of gross. And I think I just might have the whole toenail removed. It's not in focus either, dude. Yeah, it's not just you. It's not in focus on my either. Two for the price of one. Two for the price of one. Oh, see, and then look what, see, look. Yeah. I've got a picture of the part of the, my toenail that was removed. I'll see if I can dig it out and I'll show you. I don't know if he's taking the nail completely off. See how long that is? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Just again, you have a, a long toe, long toenail. It makes sense. And then let me put the ass in. Okay, so uh, he's, I don't think he's going to take the whole toenail off. He's just going to kill the Matrix on the other side. So when that happens... These holes, especially here, they'll fill in with healthy skin. Okay, so he is going to take the whole nail. Sweet. And people that like show up to the emergency room for stuff like this, and they and they don't know what they're doing there. You know, they're not toe specialists. And they just kind of, you know, they, they, they don't get all of the nail or whatever. And then people can, you know, they keep having problems because they, they, they let the nail grow back. Hit it again. He's going to hit it again with some more acid. Hit it again. There we go. No pain? Yeah, it's kind of surreal watching it happen. Because the when I when I went, they put up a screen and everything, and I'm like, "Why are you doing that? I want to see what you're gonna do." He's like, "Cool." So I sat there and watched, and it was just like watching an you know one of these videos. He did everything pretty much the same, and it didn't hurt. And even when it wore off, it didn't hurt that you know when the, the deadening wore off, it didn't hurt that bad. I had one taken out when I was in the military, and holy moly, it hurt for weeks. Maybe the trauma caused that to happen. I'm not too sure. So we're going to find out right now how it's looking. There he goes. He's taking the whole thing. No pain here? No. He's going to reach it. Just alligator forceps. Pop whole thing. Look at that. <laughs> Did you hear that squelch? Came right out. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm sitting here in, in we will I need to change this to just chatting. I've got a set for uh, Minecraft. <laughs> yes, this is Minecraft. Look. 
and then, you know, the angle of the strike. Yeah, don't worry. It's out of focus for me, too. <clears throat> This guy's going to have so much relief. Oh, sorry. From, from this being gone. And it'll take about a year for his toenail to grow back completely. And we'll do the same thing on the side of Scrape off some of that bad tissue. Yeah. It, it, actually, it'll be clean for, for good. Yeah. Sometimes he'll like cut out a whole whole big section of skin. Yes, yeah, six, seven months to a year for it to grow completely fat. And and all of that on this side here, all that will uh, will uh, close up. Yeah, because it's going to bleed like crazy. Just put more clean, take everything out, put more clean, gauze, and wrap it up. Later tonight, you might want to do your first dressing. So see how we took off the whole nail? Yeah. We might have, we don't want the gauze to stick to the nail bed. So what I want you to do is do the first dressing thing tonight. So you take everything off, apply some cream, apply some gauze, wrap it up. Yeah, well, I mean, the the younger you are, the faster it'll grow back. I mean, yeah. You know. And it's completely For, like, normal to bleed that much because you know that fleshy tissue that we took off? Yeah. That's full of blood vessels. I'm just going to be preemptive and put this on. Like a mantle, if I've ever seen one. Okay, now we're going to watch this last one. This is back to Mr. Toenail. Now my mom, my mom had problems like this with uh, her toes, and they'll show you a better example. Where the, the nail grows like that, it actually curves around and meets and causes so much pressure on the toe, but she never had any issues with it. I kept telling her, you need to get those taken care of. See that dent where the nail was digging into the skin? Yeah, right there. Right in there. That, that right the skin of the way dent. Up. You got to get all that crap out of there. Take good care of your feet. Make sure you keep the nails trimmed. Clean. Yeah, see, th he, these are just like quick, like little clips. It doesn't do like the whole procedure, like uh, a toe brush. 
He just gets down to the, the meat and taters of it. <coughs> oh, see, look at that. You know, it'll get they get infected easily. Very easy. Mm. Watch, 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 watch. Watch, watch. When he when he starts to pull it out, look at look at how it's grown underneath the skin. Right there in the corner, right there. He pulls that up. Look at that. And that's digging into the skin and it hurts so much. Look at that. Look at the that keep getting worse. Does it have something to do with climate change? Okay. So, yeah, it probably does. All right. <laughs> That's it for toe videos for today. And uh, bleeding. Yeah, it'll bleed a little bit sometimes. Usually that guy's pretty good about um, not causing a lot of, of, a lot of bleeding normally don't see a lot of bleeding because he's not really like digging like into the skin he's just trying to get like the the nail itself and how you know if, if i tried to do that on myself man i'd slice my toe <laughs> i know i would i'd i'd slice my toe up something fierce <sighs> okay so that's toe videos for today. Let's um uh, all right, what I wanted to do today in Minecraft. Um and um I think this is a realm. Let's go single player. Oh no. Okay. Hang on. I'm gonna I wanna relaunch. I wanna relaunch. We're gonna go on a castle tour. My uh my old castle that I'm wanting to rebuild. Name that tune. What's this song from? What's this from? <laughs> it's from the Munsters. I don't think I've opened this up in one nineteen before. It. Boom. All right. This is the castle. What we're going to do, we'll go out here. I'm going to have to turn the shader. We'll 
do like a little outdoor, or, you know, outside. I love this. I, I put so much work in. Yeah, I did. I had to do it in. Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, creative mode. There we go. Creative mode. You know, and I stocked it with all kinds of animals. I've, I've, I've like was turning the whole area into, you know, it's a it's a plains biome as you can tell. But I've 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 made a jungle over here. Whoa, what's oh that's. What the heck? And the original plan was to build the church cathedral out here in this area, which I don't know if it was big enough, but let's uh, use the wrong keyboard. All right. I used to have a little house over here. Which was my, you know, kind of like, you know, because you can still see the farm. Yeah. Um, but uh, once I got the castle to a semi point of completion, I tore the house down. And we're going to take, we're going to walk in. Um, this bridge, I kind of, I built this bridge. I followed a tutorial for this. I don't think I'm some kind of uh, Minecraft architecture genius. And come through the gate. And what I originally wanted to do, I wanted to build like a whole world. Because the, the tutorial... The, the YouTuber that I got the tutorial from um, had, you know, plan, you know, tutorials for like a whole bunch of different buildings, like taverns and churches and houses and stuff like that, that I wanted to, to use, you know, build all around this area, stock it with villagers and stuff like that, um, like the blacksmith area. I, I don't like this kind of brick, but when I was doing the tutorial, I couldn't find anything that I liked better. I don't think this area is, no, this area is not finished yet. There's a few areas of the inner castle that are not finished yet. So we're going to go in the main entrance of the castle. I know it's dark. Walk in the doors. This is like the throne room. The king would sit here. And then there is a trap door behind here that leads someplace secret. Um, I think it's this one. One of these two here, if you put an item in it, it goes into the automatic item sort of case. Okay, so over here you have the dining hall. And the original plans had two tables in it, but I messed up on my measurements. And um, you could still put two tables in here. It just didn't look, it looked too crowded. You have this area where, like, the royal family would sit and eat. And then we come up in here. And uh, this leads up and down and all around. 
I'm not gonna go everywhere. But this area is like a little storage room and a ladder to go up into the you can there's passageways inside the walls. Um let's go down here here first. This leads upstairs where we're gonna do all the ground floors first. This is like where the 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 knights and the uh, soldier officers hang out. And then this leads outside to a little walkway. Making sure I don't overtax my <laughs> It's still it's still quite choppy. But so we go out here. We're gonna go back down this way. Down in here we have this little area. Come through here. This this hallway has not been finished yet. It leads to, as you, you know, a lot of this is unfinished. Um, okay, this is just a storage closet. And back here, this is like a meat freezer. And these are the, this is the kitchen. And the kitchen leads back out this way. And we're back in the dining hall. This is the kitchen. Quite proud of the job I did on this. Again, following a tutorial. Um, I believe at one point, there's supposed to be a big hearth right here for a fire. I don't remember. <clears throat> um, we're gonna go. We're gonna go downstairs first, and this is where the majority of the work. This is oh, this is the dungeons. Office with storage in here. It's got a couple of cells to keep prisoners in. Torture racks up here. There's supposed to be a stairway that leads up that's not finished yet. Um, and this is like the big time torture room. Another cell in here. Cobwebs up here all kinds of little torture devices and stuff here um, like I said there's supposed to there will be a stairway this is one of the towers this will be, will be a stairway leading up all right we come through here, let me adjust my seat a little bit. I don't know why I bother closing the doors. It's just me. Now this, <clears throat> this took a long time. There is the storage facility. And we get to it by coming around this way. Nope, I was wrong. This way, there's the stairs, stairs. All the way down. Ooh, getting motion sickness. There we go. Okay. And this was my idea. I put this tree in the middle here. I just think that looks really cool with this tree growing out. 
and then you have there's this the storage units most everything is empty at the moment I'm trying to remember because there is a way there is a secret door that leads you back behind all of this it's oh there's a kitty cat right here and this takes you back to the inner workings of the storage facility and then I built this was my very poor uh, attempt to build an iron farm Uh, and I think I built it too high or I, I, I did something this room is too big I built a, you know an, out, an alternate farm um, like indoor farming for stuff yeah here we go danger this is the mob farm <laughs> Yeah, we got bees going in here. And for a while, my iron farm worked great. See? But now the golems, the iron golems won't spawn there. And this was done. Oh, wait a minute. There, yeah. He did spawn. It is working. Huh, what do you know? Because the problem was is they were spawning out here and not up here where they should be. Maybe that got fixed. Anyway. Huh. We have that. We also have... This is some underground... Uh, caves and stuff. There's another dungeon down here, I believe. Through here. Yeah. I think I built another dungeon. Another dungeon. I know I built another dungeon somewhere. Okay, maybe I didn't. No, I know I did. I built another dungeon down here, and there's uh, down here. No, it's not lit up. Hang on. We'll find it. I'll find it. It's been a while since I've been down here. There is another dungeon down here. Come on. Pretty sure there is anyway. That's fine. Came down. Not that way. Go back. There we go. Uh, I don't think it was this far back. No, I've already been down. Like I said, I built all this in creative mode, so that's why I have lanterns and stuff, torches, and all that stuff. Go back down here. Let's go back down here. Okay, so right in here, I had like a little conjuring room. Let 
make potions and stuff. Maybe it's maybe it's down here. Now. Because what I wanted to do originally is build tunnels that went way out from the castle and like as escape routes in case, you know, attack and the, the royal family had to flee. They had somewhere to flee to. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this it? Oh, that leads me right back here. I could have sworn I put another dungeon down here. Maybe it's in another part of the castle. Okay. We're gonna fly through here. We're gonna fly back to I guess in another area. <laughs> it's not important. Alright, so come up here. Then back through. And when I originally built this, I built it with uh, with mobs and stuff turned off. Ah, here we go. Here's the other dungeon. Here we go. Here's the other. Dungeon. I've got villagers locked up in here. They're prisoners. And I have another nether portal. Come down in here. Another storage area where I have books, food, and everything else. Tucked away. Yeah, eventually, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have like a bunch of under, hopefully underground back. Hopefully. Somewhere around here, in one of these corners, there's a trap door. I believe. There was designed to be a trap door in here somewhere. There's a ladder on one of these pillars. Or maybe it just. Oops. Oh, you weren't supposed to get out, little bee. Oh, well. Anyway, so this is the way out. So here's the storage facility. And I have uh, room to expand, but not much. See, I've got, you know, a little bit of everything. Now, what I wanted to do was, you know, have this in a multi, you know, on a multiplayer server where we could have people living in the area and setting up shops and you know all of that neat stuff okay so we're back all right that's gonna be something all right so we're gonna come down this way 
a lot of stuff in there. And this is this is the barracks and the armory. Eventually, there's going to be a map of the area on this wall. Like I said, it's just, uh, you know, storage here uh, where the War Council sits. And then you've got this door that leads to the area behind the walls. This is, this is one of the outer walls. And there, there's the way they're built. There's gaps like this that you can come out. I cleared all this out. This is supposed to be something in the original plans too. Just haven't gotten to it yet. But we have all these little secret passages and stuff, which every good castle should have some secret passages. Um, I want to try and something beside that's obvious there's something there i don't want people to know okay um so at this point we're gonna go up here and i'm not sure where this leads to I don't remember keeps going up and up we're gonna go all the way up oh this is yeah this is uh one of the towers the top of one of the towers so We're in this tower over here. And that still works. Has a little elevator. Please back down into the storage area. Mm -hmm. This door leads outside to the archery range. You can come out here and practice your archery. And I believe there's weapons around. There we go. Crossbows and stuff. You want to get in some target practice. And then this leads you back up to this little walkway. And since we're down here, we'll go ahead and look at this part of the castle um, this building right here which we can't get into from over here. I never understood why there's not an entrance um, these are literally the barracks where the soldiers and stuff live this is another one of the towers this is the t uh, the stairway under the area by the dungeons that I told you needed a stairway this area is mostly unfinished uh, but we can go from yeah and this is mostly unfinished because there should be there's got a clean no there's not a door down here but there's supposed to be a walkway through here I'm pretty sure when it's all said and done, that you can walk to the next tower. Yeah, you could do a pretty good hide and seek game here, couldn't you? That sucks. Quit messing stuff up. They're supposed to, I don't, can't remember if there's a door here or not. Anyway. So we're going to go back down to the archery range and go back inside. Come through here. And I just love how this turned out. 
we're going to come through here in this area this area again is unfinished I have a secret door over here where I keep some not really a secret door but this area is unfinished we're going to come up this way Uh, this is a storage area and then this will have a piston door and this is kind of the escape route for the king uh, there's uh, all kinds of uh, hidden areas and stuff This is the this is the area this is behind the throne. The trap door drops you down here and then the king run through here. And uh and then wait a minute. Yeah, come down here and he's in You know, this is storage. This will be a piston wall, eventually. And then there'll be a secret button right here to open the door and close it. Okay, so then we're going to come out this way. Oh, that's the dungeon. All right, so that's everything on this side. We're going to go back up here. Go down through here. Kitchen, storage room. We're going to go up these stairs. And I believe this was, this is supposed to be the queen's area. Pretty sure. Yeah. This is where... Well, I did it all in creative, so I didn't really spend anything. Time. Um, this is where the, the, the queen and the prince and the princess, this is their apartments through here. Um, there was a miscalculation made, and I didn't like how it turned out. So I tore all of that, and I haven't gone back to finish it. Come up here. A little landing and uh, up here and this is another one of the towers now again as I told you I I did a um, I followed a, tutor a tutorial and got confused, whatever you want to call it, with my calculations. And things are not quite symmetrical in a lot of, like, this. <laughs> that shouldn't be like that. I think that's an extra wall there. This leads back. Through here. I put these windows in. I don't know if, you know, you'd have glass windows or all that, but this is the library. This leads kind of out front there. We've got, this is the bottom floor of the library? Yeah, pretty sure. In here you have a little chapel. And here is another war room. 
since I'm playing Minecraft on Bedrock Edition, I was doing it with my friends. This also will have a big map of the area. And this leads outside here. All right. Let's go back down there. So we come down this way. It does a little bit, doesn't it? This is where we came out of. And this is the king's dressing room and bathroom. He has his clothes. And I did these. I don't know if you can tell. Th these are like DC heroes. This is Batman, Superman, Green Lantern, Flash, Aquaman, and Nightwing. Kind of the same over here. Yeah, this is where the king would get dressed. And then this is his little bathroom with a working toilet. And then a bath, some towels, and a little bit of storage here and there. It's a private dressing room. Now, a little storage area here, and this goes back downstairs. This is the barracks area. For the soldiers have some cake, bunk beds, and then and then this is like their little kitchen area where they can. Make some food. See, we got food there. And this has got to be real close to the king, of course. Down here. Storage. All secret passageways here. That lead. Different areas of the castle. Come back down here, and we're in the main dining hall. But we're gonna go back up here. Nope, oh, wrong door. I want to go down the stairs. Too. Nope, I'm turned around. <laughs> All right. All right, so down. Yeah, we gotta go up. Sorry. Go up here. And, uh... The King's Quarters. And I love the way that light comes in to the window. His closet. desk here bed
I'm gonna go up here. And this is his little office. He can come up here and work. And if he gets thirsty, he has a little kitchen area and a table to sit at. And make him some brew. Sit down and have something to eat. Cook him something. Or have one of the servants cook it for him. And then up here... <laughs> now this is, epic. this is epic this is where the sorcerer works. this is the sorcerer's little tower here comes up here and then this is kind of unfinished I wanted to put something up here that it comes up here and conjures spells and looks out at the oh, whoa okay I'm looking at it from the wrong direction that's why it looked weird okay so and this this staircase is precarious at best And we're back in the king's area. We're going to go back down these stairs. Uh, we're going to go up here. And this is another, whoop, another conjuring room. A uh, little watch office for the watch commander. Come all the way up here. And boom. See my little jungle out there? I mean, and we're going to go explore the grounds in a little bit. We're almost done with the castle itself, as far as the tour. Hey, Upbeat, what's going on? It is Minecraft Day. We're taking a tour of the old castle. Oh, yeah, that's the only way to get to the king's areas to do this. You have to, uh, you have to pass through a lot of guards and stuff. And then he comes down here. And as I said, this leads out it's part of the library. There is a second door to the library right here. this way and this is also I got this all screwed up too but this is uh, one of the other towers and then there is a way there's also another room up here but I have it's not finished yet as you can see ah funk the staircase is all mucked up because of miscalculations and how's my what doing? My day, my other castle, what you, what you, what you, what you. Do? Oh, you're talking to a beat. Okay, never mind. Okay, so we're gonna come down here all the way. leads us outside the apartment area that's not finished and back down here takes 
this outside. Went through here, and this area is also unfinished. Um, now, I did originally, this is one of the guard towers. I built this mess up here myself, so it's not going to stay, most likely. Let's There's the other corner here. Why I did this, I have no idea. <laughs> Just said, oh, I'll build something here. Right, this takes us across and over. This is over the main gate. Whoa! I have a ladder that takes all the way up here. Like I said, this is over the main gate. And I built this stuff in here. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, do you know what I like? Is fortress to make guards roll the pin and make. LF. Yeah, that does sound fun. Dude, yeah, there's no way out of here because this area is unfinished. around this way really no way we're gonna cheat a little bit oh I guess I can't we'll get out Oh, there is a staircase right here. Okay, so we can get out. Uh, all right, so we have this little area over here, which is like we've got store uh, ore and hay and wood and stuff like that. Exactly. Stables, that's my horse. Got the stables here. We've got this area, which is again not finished yet. Come on. And that's pretty much the castle. I mean, there's a lot to it, but. You come up here, where is it? Not that, but if you look at this, see where my miscalculations made this not symmetrical? And that screwed up the roof lines and um, made them kind of screwy. <sighs> Excuse me. did have a trap door here at one point, but I think I got rid of it. I think the landscaping and everything turned out real nice. All right, so we're going to go over the grounds around the place. Now, when I originally started this, I would let Cooper and Rindley come in here. Um... This is kind of where I put some of the 
livestock and stuff that had been roaming around just so they wouldn't get hurt or anything. And in the early stages of the build, Ziesel turd showed up. So I kept them. <laughs> And then I have areas to get out in mines and stuff like that. There are kings, distant generals, major veteran guards, soldiers, farmers, builders, explorers, and so. See, that's kind of what, excuse me, gosh, kind of what I wanted to do here. And then out in this area was going to be like uh, an arboretum which this part would be built there'd be like a hill that'd be built up to this level again i haven't gotten to that point yet bounce planters light this up a little bit and then there, anyway so there's a village out here that cooper and renly kind of massacred they're still kind of around, but I'm going to rebuild this whole thing. They, they're being chased. Give me a little, give me a little turd. Oh, you had him perfectly trapped. There you go. You're safe now. I had mobs turned off at one point, but I guess it wouldn't... Uh, Anyway, I am going to redo this entire freaking village. Oh, there are the phantoms. And what I got going over here, you know, in the Lord of the Rings where they had, you know, the signal fires and all that. I'm kind of trying to do that. <laughs> I have this. Um, I have this is kind of this was kind of natural. I doctored it a little bit. It's it was mostly natural. Uh, where uh, you come and do yeah, you know, there's a another portal there to come and do demonic uh, rituals and stuff like that. Like I said, I, I put animals everywhere. Everywhere. Um, I haven't ventured too far out because this was during the times in Minecraft where I could get lost very easily and I didn't have my nifty little mini map. So I stayed pretty close to home. Now, originally what I wanted to do was all of this land from like here on for several thousand, uh, several thousand blocks I wanted it to be ocean 
and I was going to do some terraforming, but that idea kind of died. Do it this. This is much quicker to do it this way. Um, you know, I've got all this out here. I started now over here. Again, the boy was it right here? I think it was right in here. The boys blew up. I mean, they blew craters. I mean, they did not have, see. I have arrows pointing me back. Um, I found other villages over here. But, um, yeah, right there. That's a huge crater, and I built land over. You know, just put ground over top of it. And uh, this way, to, it's it's way to mine. And then we've got this bit, bad boy right here. Put a panda out there. There's parrots and other birds out here. But I'm going to take you for a walk through there. This is kind of. We got turtles out here. This is a little boat dock. Oh, I don't want. I yeah, I I, I know I can do that, but I don't want to. Um, we're just gonna take a nice walk. Okay, so we've got these little signposts. Wizard Warlock. Village. Wizard Warlock is somebody that I used to play. With us. I haven't seen him in a long, long time. He built out that way somewhere. I'll have to find him. So I built this area up now there's two ways that you can take you can walk through the jungle area and it's a lighted path or we can come this way and over here um, I was gonna build some farmhouses did I even start that? something tells me that I did. really really you don't get to ruin anybody's day. Okay, I was going to put farmhouses over here. No, I just got the land ready. I never did do the... Uh, farmhouse oh that's not what I wanted I wanted a bucket of milk where's the bucket of milk that's powdered snow bucket this under the suit no ah there's the bucket of milk took my curse off there we go. Okay. Seriously, I don't want that. This is where I stopped <laughs> making the, the path. But I put down the shroom lights to uh, mark how I wanted the path to go. And you can kind of see the village in the distance. And then what I'm going to do, somewhere around here, I don't know if I'm going to do it here to there or whatever. I'm going to build a bridge over that water. And this is where the other trail comes out at. We'll take that trail back around. Now, none of this is natural. 
<clears throat> I put this here. As you can see, it's Plains Biome. I put all this stuff here. Two town. I have a little sign. Ooh, I have to cut the vines sometimes because they block the path. Hadn't been here. Probably hadn't been in here in a year. Easy. Ooh, I am losing frames like Ray Cray. I'm gonna turn those shaders off. I hate to do that because it looks so nice. There we go. Doesn't look quite as nice, but it'll do. Like I said, I there's some pandas around here. I just tried to make this like really nice. Make there. There. Yeah, you saw them. There's a pan in. There's a couple of pan in. Anyway, this is supposed to be like a, you know, a, a fantasy world. So, you know, you have weird things around. You know, those shroom trees and all that. We're gonna come out this way. We're gonna go over to the village. Now I did, uh, I beefed this village up quite a bit. See how I have my arrows? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't have to be too, uh, I don't have to follow any rules or whatever. It's my world, I can do whatever I want. But I did, I did uh, repair this village, got them, put more villagers in here, got them, got them all jobs. I, cre I created a lot of jobs. Got them some iron golems to protect them. And I haven't really gone much past here. Actually, I did, and I got lost. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I know I won't get lost again. <laughs> what are you doing up there? You know you're not supposed to be up there. Get down. Get down. Come here. Oh, you didn't even take any damage on that fall. Fine. You're good to go. And so are you. All right. Villagers are... Everybody's got a job. Everybody's happy. Probably need to put some more light in this area. It's a, a built... A built stuff. I want to go find Wizard Warlock's place. You want to go with me to find that? First, I'm going to make. I got to keep making the path. Farmhouse right there. And some farmland. Um, what I wanted to do out here. Since we're taking it, like I said, this is where. my uh or, you know got a farm out here there'll probably be some farmhouses and stuff out here but what we're gonna do over here
I want to build like little shop stalls with villagers in them that you can come and trade it. And then, you know, if we had like a, a, a real like role play city kind of thing, people can have their own little shops and sell, you know, I can sell flowers here. Or I'm going to do that over there or, or whatever. I think it's kind of nice. You know what I'm going to do? Um, God, what is it? Set. Oh, I can't, I can't remember. I'm not doing something right, but it doesn't matter. All right. We're going to go find... Oh, wait a minute. Um, you? Add. Oh. Home. Home. New. Firm. Done. Okay, so now we have a waypoint on the map. Let's go find stuff. So, you, you can't come out here and just build anywhere. We're going to go find this. Gotta be out here. See, there's another one of my arrows. Yeah, I came out here. I did come out here because I placed uh, torches as or. Stone blocks. <laughs> but I think I started this in 116 or 117. That tells you anything. Ah. Kick in the warp drive. I've just, and plus, I've had an awful time streaming uh, Minecraft. Excuse me. I, I, it gets so laggy and skip frames and i know a lot of it has to do with the shaders that i'm using but it's never done that before so there's obviously been some changes and i've decided i need to uh, bite the bullet and get a new video oh look what we have here yeah. Okay, so we're going to put, um, portal. Uh, 
what should we make for portals? Portals gold. Oh. I'd really like to find Wizard Warlock house. Because not only will I deprive him of his belongings, I will burn his house to the ground. I thought he said he did it like a thousand blocks away, but I'm pretty sure I've gone a Find out. See how laggy it is? You're a laggy. I wanted to do this on the ocean. Really? I wish I had. I wish I'd have picked a different spot for it. That's why I'm wanting to rebuild it. It's going to take a long I'm pretty sure I've never gone out this far. Because I was always scared of getting lost. Because <laughs> in the early days of my... Uh, Minecraft playing, I got lost a lot and a lot. I wouldn't venture very far from anything because I was so terrified of getting lost. Even in creative mode, I didn't. Yeah. You know, I, I, and, and even if I wrote down the coordinates, I was still very careful. Because uh, I would still get lost. Weird. Did he have this coordinate? Did he put it? Did he put the coordinates? I don't think I did. My memory used to, I used to be sharp as a tack, man. Nowadays, not so much. No, getting old. <laughs> Alright, I think I might turn around and head back. I am. Yeah, because I've gone. Maybe I just overlooked it. Because that portal, that wouldn't have been there originally. Not a saying. Portal would not have been there. Oh, it's so laggy. It's laggy, Maggie. Slow, Joe.
Ooh. Yeah, I don't think he would have gone not much past that because then I don't think that portal would have just formed there. It would have been an unexplored area. I'm thinking correctly, which I might might not. Oh my god. Where's this one? No. Ooh, look at that. That. Looks like some great exploring right there. Oh, come on. I don't think he would have gone much further than that. Was it? Oh my God, stop. Oh. Yeah, I went way past. He's got to be around here somewhere. No, that's not a house. There's no. I don't think he went past this uh, frozen ocean. be perfectly honest. I think it had been out here somewhere. I wonder if he built it around here anywhere. Up on these mountains. See my, see my arrow? Yep, I found my way home. That's before I knew about the mini map. And here we go. Sign. Whoa. here oh it did put his coordinates so let's uh cp negative two five two one oh five there there's two seven zero 
Unknown and complete. Can I not in this? Oh, I can't enable cheats. I think. I'm trying to remember how to enable cheat. There we go. Um, EP negative five one. Well, you know what? I don't care if entity. I'm not gonna remember. E P. Zero point two. Negative five two dot dot seven zero incorrect argument for the Canadian. Okay. We're going to cheat. No, I mean, not cheating per se. I got a lot. Minecraft. Record. Alright, hang on now. Okay, now according to this...
Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We teleport yourself. We have it. We're good. We're in like this TP. There we go. There we are. Look at all of this crap that he's got here. Destroy it. It is uh, single player. I'm just. Um, um, I uh, at one point had a or no this is this is an old uh server it's a single player game uh that used to be a multiplayer and i'm going tearing down an old player's structures <laughs> Die. Because I haven't seen or talked to him in like two years. followed thank you thank you thank you for that follow and guess what my friend because you followed we get you get to pick a color to add to the rubber band ball i've got pretty much every color uh so pick the color you want and we will add this bad boy to the rubber band ball. While you're deciding, I'm going to continue to tear up the structure. So think about what color you want to add. While I... See, this is what makes me angry. He built all this nonsense. be darn really 
why did he do all this crap down here? I ask people not to do anything crazy. And then he went and did it anyway. Think he might have taken advantage me being in well no I would have had to have put a minute here. This is this is just sad. So if he ever does come back to this world he's gonna be upset. But as I said, I hadn't seen him in a couple of years. So now. All this stuff coming down. All of this stuff. It's all coming down. You can't near me I don't even know how he got all of out this much You're free, horsey. Who puts carpet on top of grass? What's wrong with you? There we go. 
He was using a command block too. See, that it makes me angry because I asked them not to do stuff. They didn't. As for Harambe, are you still there? Or have you moved on? If you're still there, let me know what color rubber band you want to add to the rubber band ball. If you're not still there, then I'll just pick a color and add it myself. Ridiculous looking structure. You're fixing your stuff right now? Okay. Yeah, I'm fixing stuff too. I'm fixing to destroy it. I'm sure there's a command line way of doing this, but this is a little bit more satisfying. even use the same kind of wood throughout. That's pretty sad when you can't even remember the command. Look it up on Google. How pathetic is that? 
and then there will be no trace. Because just knowing this was out here would make me crazy. I'm gonna try and find that other thing he built. Here somewhere. Where did it put it? Where did you put it? I mean, yes, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. There we go. Ah. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah. 
wasn't wasn't far from as far as I was thinking. Not as far as I was thinking. But it wasn't in the direction I was. Signs were. Now it's gone. And I was quite proud of this bridge. There's another bridge that in my very first single player game I was quite proud of. But it takes a screenshot. In the meantime. Crap. Get rid I do like this because you can see my my mount a lot better. Uh, tell you what though thought of doing all of this again look at that that's a lot of work I wonder how many plots quite a few I'm sure really bugs me oh, is this lopsided piece of crap I cannot believe I did that because of that the roof line all F That's that's the most notable. That drives me insane. It really does. <laughs> no one that's like that. Um, I want to. Yeah. All right. So it's uh, mods for Harambe. Seems. Here, I'm gonna pick. A rubber band and I think I'm gonna go because you, you know you guys know that I love me some purple I love purple I'm going to be a purple I had my eye on it too where'd it go 
There it is. No, it's too tiny. That was. That won't stretch far enough. Oh my goodness. Come on. That would have been perfect. Okay. See if there's another purple in here somewhere. No, we don't. We don't. Oh, we got plenty of yellow. Well, would you look at this? Brown. I am Aquaman. Okay. It is brown. Hmm. Nose itches. Okay. Here we go. All right, for mods for Harambe. I've got balls of steel. Yeah, I do. Okay, there we go. All right, so I can move you back over here. Do this. Oh, you can hear me. Close enough. Boom. Okay. Back to game. Back to game. All right. So that's the castle. And let me tell you something. Doing the tops of these is not fun. There is a lot, a lot of steps that go into this. I kind of wish that I hadn't done it. I, I want to change the material around. Let me show you this real quick. So you have wood, and it looks like, I think that's bone block. Let's see. Sand, or is it, it might be sandstone. I think it's sandstone. Smooth sandstone. Yeah, that's what I think. Yep, smooth sandstone. Which is a great color and all that. It looks too candy striped, don't you think? I might when I when I'm rebuilding the other one, I might try different material, different wood. Ah, oh. my plenty of light in. I think it's right there. Find out. Let's. Yep. That's it. Gone. Then we come down. Yep, there it is. So I didn't know how much was in there to begin with. Let's uh, go put a potato. Ah, oh, somebody.
He gets lost in his own castle. Anything you put in here leaves goes away. Goes away. Go away. Come down here. It took me days to build this thing too. I don't mind telling you. Couldn't stack it, but I guess. I'm just happy that it works. Got one of everything. All the way down to the bottom, shall we? Extries. Not that many, but a few. Hello, the one that plays games. How are you today? Fine, I hope. I'm just looking over my story. How would I have done it? How would I? Oh, uh, it might be miscellaneous stuff. And I've got... Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty. It's twenty-eight. Ah, good to hear it. Good to hear it. What you up to today? I did have parrots in here, but they all got away. <laughs> they probably, probably issue. the wrong way. Went the wrong way again. I think I'm going the other way. Oh, I went this way. Ah, I'm not lost after all. The way in. So anything you put in there ends up in the storage system. You know, now that I think about it, there should be some rip roaring fireplace in the dining room. Wouldn't you wouldn't you imagine? Ain't that that would be the case? fire pit or something so like instead of this thing this is like a little stage where actors you know they put on little doo -doo 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 -doo. Put a 
Biscuit. Shouldn't be able to hear that here. We really should not. Okay, so there is the castle. I really didn't think it would take me this long to do. Well, I mean, we did some uh, to do the whole tour, but it does take time. There's a lot of rooms in there. I like this touch. I like that little. I should use that in more of my builds. It's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. And then there is a tutorial to make this gate um, actually work. That would be sweet. Because I would be able to close it. Oink. Jeez, that's a fox. Even though it looks like a raccoon. And he's having a nap. But right here is where the cathedral is supposed to go. Supposedly. And again, I don't know if part of me wants to rebuild it just because I think it would be fun to do it again. And then, oh my God, it took me so, so incredibly long. And it's starting and stopping the tutorial. Oh. It's kind of uh, kind of daunting when you think about it. Really kind of daunting when you think about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. <laughs> And as I said again, this, this, oh, that bugs me. Your eyes screwed up the roof line. Because I went too far out this way. And that threw off so much other stuff. And that's not the, the that's not the only place I have screwed up, but that is the most noticeable. That is that just does not look right at all. And how I didn't catch it originally is beyond me. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Down here. There we go. This area over here. This is supposed to be like an arboretum, like a garden. I followed a tutorial, but yes, I built this. I I am by no means a uh genius Minecraft architect. I, um, I followed a tutorial. 
this is both, and it's not finished. There's, I mean, I, I've already done the whole tour. I want to, I don't want to do it again, but just like right in here, this isn't finished. This, you know, all of this over here is not finished. Yeah, I was quite happy with the way it turned out so far since it's not finished, but. But yeah. Hell yeah! I'm quite proud of it. This, no, this one, this turned out. This was fine. Um, as I said, I wanted to do. Sorry if I was AFK. No, no, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. See what you got to do sometimes, man. Yeah, this whole area is unfinished. Okay. Storage closet. This leads back to the kitchens. Mm, 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 mm. I used to have a sign right there <laughs> that said, smiles, everyone smiles. <laughs> um, we need something in that frame, don't we? Let's put something nice in A big drip thing. There we go. Um, it's a reference to a very old TV show. <laughs> and it just... <clears throat> when I was, I was walking through here one time, and this leads out into the banquet hall. And I just pictured in my head, you know, a, a server coming through with a big plate of food from the kitchen. And it, there's a sign that says, smiles, everyone smiles. So you walk out with a big smile, smile on your face. And, uh, it's from a show <laughs> called Fantasy Island. Very old television show. Here we got some storage. There is storage everywhere in this place. We are lousy with storage. Oh, it played all the way through. Okay. Let's put pig step in. Yeah, yeah. You like the chill stream? I appreciate that. It's not always completely 100% chill, but most of the time, especially on Monday, I got recovering from the weekend. Doing in my castle. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, this area isn't finished. And I think this there's going to be like two stories to this. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, yeah. Um, this whole building is it finished yet? I'm not mistaken. Yeah, see, that's not finished. My, I am fine, man. Yeah, no, this is finished. This was that was supposed to be some um, like a dance hall, I think. Dance hall day. Um. What are you doing? Die! I forgot I had mobs turned off in the last one. I also had no day night. It was always daylight. 
It was just easier when I was building that I didn't have to deal with the day night cycle. Oh, I'll have to die. Because I didn't like the mobs. I didn't like them. I didn't like them at all. Anyway, so that's the castle. Um, I wanted to check out. How long have I been playing Minecraft? Uh, three or four years. I still consider myself quite a noob when it comes to Minecraft. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is my original single player. The original. First Minecraft world. Let's cut off. It's dirty. It's dirty. Okay, like, all right, this is where am I? I am, I'm at my beach house. Here we go. You ever played very old Minecraft version? Um, <laughs> um, no, because um, Minecraft wasn't around when I was. I'm very embarrassed to say minecraft wasn't a thing um bought my kids a nintendo switch for christmas and got them Minecraft it always seemed like it would be too hard like awful hard especially when you played it with a game controller but I got it and uh, yeah I really enjoyed it this is that's the bridge that I really you know now I look at it it's really not It's really nothing much to look at. But this is Oh, this was this was several years ago. <laughs> but we got a Minecraft with it and I just decided, you know, I'll try it on PC and see what it does. And uh yeah, it uh I was I was, uh, I kind of got into it. Nah. nah. But like I said, this, this was my original, this house has changed. This is my original house. And I remodeled it several times. Um, yeah, I'm going to be, and I'm going to be closing up this stream here in a few minutes, but, uh, uh, that's not a terrible bridge. Oh my gosh! I crack myself up. You scared me. Shame on you. I got scared. And then I built over here and thought, oh, built way over here. I'm in the process of emotional damage yeah by the way yeah i lowered the price of all the channel well not all of them but the majority of them and then i built this it was a tutorial but i built it in 
survival mode. I was quite happy with it. With, I had, I made a tree farm out here to uh, get the wood together. And then I built this village out here. Built it and I rebuilt it and I built it again. Then I built another house over here. <laughs> Need to stay hydrated. Yep. Thank you. Thanks for that. It's coffee, but you know, that, you know, best I can do right now. Ooh, mm. this has got to go to the dishwasher. All right, so I built that house, and then I built this house, and this is the diaper house. And the reason we call I call it the diaper house is when you it doesn't look so much like it now. But the original like footprint or I got it, it looked like a diaper. See, that's like the waistband and it comes down here, there, the leg or a pair of shorts or whatever. But I call it the diaper house because it looks like a diaper. And there's a dude up there. Oh, why did I do that? Give me my sword back. Oops. Okay, so yeah, so I built this house. And then I built this wizard tower over here. Again, from a tutorial. And I have built these in a bunch of other worlds of mine of different materials and everything, but they just look cool. I just think this is an awesome, awesome build. And then over here, and this. <laughs> now, this is epic. Hell yeah! Oh, all right, here is. Castle Black. Is that Castle Black? Yep, that's Castle Black. Here's Castle Black. Now, I built this. I did completely. There's no tutorial. Or, and you can probably tell that there's... <laughs> it follows no discernible pattern whatsoever. But you see, like everything around it is dead. Nothing growing out here. Nothing... Oh, geez. Oh, wuss. What's wrong with you, man? Oh. Yeah, that really got me. I'm going to clip that. Good gravy. That <laughs> scared the crap out of me, man. All right, so this is Castle Black. Nothing grows here. Nothing's going to grow here. It's dead. Uh. There was a door. Well, this was just, I just built this into the, where's the door? I thought that was the door. Oh, it's up here. <laughs> I know there's a door up here somewhere. Yeah, this, like I said, this is, uh, just 
I'm like, yeah, I'm just building it as I go. And what I was imagining is like a Klingon castle in Star Trek. But that's why there's fire everywhere and all that. And lots of reds and you know, bold colors and stuff. And then my bedroom is up here. I have a little law. I have a little law. Just a little law. And oh, there's no doorway. And come down this way. And yeah, go down here. Oh. And different levels and it's most it's it's a moat or a, not a boat a chasm it's a bottomless pit that's minecraft cat i didn't actually mean for it that to be a um <laughs> point redemption it just happened to I'm like okay it was there i was playing around with the, the sound thing where you can use bits you use bit anyway so yeah it's got a bunch of different levels Bunch of different levels, bunch of different rooms. Here. Oh, look, it's the rainbow room. I did this to piss somebody off one day. <laughs> they were going on about. They were going on about gay people. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll fix you. So I made this rainbow flag carpet here. Hey, Yumi's, what's up? I'm like, well, I'll fix you. I'll just do this and make that. And they did get rather upset about it. I put all kinds of. <laughs> you want. Oh, now I'm turned around and lost. I'm turned around and lost. Hey! You got your Fortnite account back? Awesome! Congratulations, bud. I am so glad. Don't get banned again. Now, yours got hacked. And it, it got hacked and somebody... Um, Put a um... zero. You are a genius. Um, they put like an aimbot on it or whatever, and it got permanently banned. Is that if I remember? I traded with someone and he ended up scamming me. Yeah, don't ever do that. <laughs> now, this is epic. Yeah. Yeah. Not. Oh, I switched the passwords on him. Good for you. I'm glad you got your account back. That wasn't fair. Wasn't fair at all. And you see, again, I have another of those wizard towers right here. This used to be. Sorry. Shut I'm up, so Siri. I confused Siri when I said that. Uh, so what I did is turn this into. It used to be like a church. Just did that. I am so glad you got your account back. So I turned it into like, yeah, 
it's a kind of a library kind of thing. Uh, Shadow Mech 2, hello. How are you, my friend? Welcome, 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 welcome. Got scammed and got it back. Yeah, I'm really, the, I'll, the boys are going to be thrilled to hear that. So I built all of these, and then I had one out here. Where was mine? Where was my house? Or did I tear it down? I had a building over here that I... I must have torn down my building. I must have torn it down. I had a building out here. Yeah, I tore it down. Uh, yes, you may ask a quick question. I must have torn that old building down. Because I used it to... Yeah, anyway, yeah, it's gone now. Oh, well. It was like my workshop. Anyway, so this was emotional damage. This is my very first Minecraft world. What mod are you using because it looks cool? Um, why is it doing that? Shadow looks followed. Uh, sh thank you for the follow. Um, I'm not using any mods to be honest. I'm emotional damage shader packs and stuff but uh, no mods and uh, i actually had to turn all my uh my shaders and stuff off because it like chokes the crap out of my my stream now it didn't used to but it does now this i can't remember what this one is. this is Yeah, that's sugar cane. That's the sugar cane. And this is um bamboo. What's the name of the shader packs? Hey, um, hang on, I'll get it for you. Okay. Look at that. So I wanted to build these just to see if I could. <laughs> um, hang on. Uh, okay, so I am using some mods. Does that help? And it's usually, um, uh, I've got, holy moly, I'm losing my mind here. Let's see. Save it already. I, I'm really happy you got your your account back. The boys are going to love the good news. Because Cooper was going to give you a skin. <laughs> he felt bad for you not having one. Uh, mods. Um. Uh, 
let me I'm gonna load it up again and I cannot for the life of me remember the name of these. I got I'm using fabric and optifine. There we go. Uh but I use fabric more often because I'm using it at, for the mini map. Give me a mini map. By the way, it's 1.20 a.m. Oh, wow. Uh, it's 1.20 p.m. here. So you must be, let me guess, Shadow Knight. You're in Australia, right? Are you in Australia? You're 12 hours ahead. It should be Tuesday where you are, if I'm not correct. Right? 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 Is it Tuesday already? Still Monday here. Maybe who maybe who won? Yeah, maybe. Anyway. Uh, no, I'm, in fact, I'm getting ready. I, I've got to end the stream in just a couple of minutes so I can go pick them up from school. So, yeah, they uh, will be home in just a little while. Um, but, yeah. I want to see if this works. This is working. I love this. Try to get some, yeah, try to get some sleep, man. You need you need some sleep. Anyway, guys, um, I can see spirits. <laughs> yeah, I um, I was looking at my phone last night, and Zero Mom went to bed, and I was like, "I'll be up in a minute," and I kept watching. I was watching TikTok, and fell asleep. <laughs> Woke up and it was close to two in the morning, so I got up, went to bed, and uh, I never uh, really got back to sleep good. So I'm a little, little tired today. But anyway, guys, I've got to get out of here. But guess what? I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna be. I'm gonna be making some TikTok videos. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to work on the little scripts for them today. I want to make a bunch of uh, little things that annoy me. You know what annoys me? You know what really annoys me? Uh, that kind of stuff. Um, and that's why I couldn't fall back to sleep because my mind started, you know, I can't turn my brain off sometimes. And Anyway, uh, so yeah, you can be here and watch me make TikTok videos. <laughs> so, uh, Shadow Mac. Oh, Shadow Mac, real quick before I go, uh, for the follow, you get to pick a colored rubber band to add to the rubber band ball. I know it looks weird because of the green screen, but trust me, this is a multicolored rubber band ball. What color rubber band would you like to add for your follow? I've got just about every Zero, color Zero, you screen. are a genius. I thank you. What color would you like, my friend? And then I got to get out of here. To get out of here. And I'll be back at 10 o'clock again tomorrow and make a ticky talk video. Might even try to get here at nine. Uh, you want black? Okay, I've got black. Sure, I've got black. We have got black. Oh, here we go. Black. So yeah, we got the, the rubber ball, the rubber band ball of destiny here. I've got balls of steel. Yeah, baby. All right, here we go. Thank you for that follow. We're going to get this thing the size of a basketball. It, Mr. Smith. 263, give me a first step. Uh, yeah. And was shot down by a black pilot. First 
first uh, Luftwaffe jet in World War II was shot down by a black pilot. Bet you didn't know that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. And uh, I want you to have a good day. Get some sleep. Stay hydrated. Stay safe. Don't get the monkeypox or the Ronas or whatever. That's right. B-50 Red Tails, the Tuskegee Airmen. First all-black uh, fighter squadron. Um, yeah. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Be here. Follow me everywhere. All that. Donate some money and <laughs> bits and all that. I need money. <laughs> all right, guys. See you. We've been trying to reach you concerning your car's extended warranty. You should have received something in the mail about your car's extended warranty. Since we have not gotten a response, we are giving you a final courtesy call before we close out your file. Nuts.